Starting off, we're gonna have a block of cream cheese. And cream cheese normally is already softened, but it's gonna be difficult to mix the cream cheese and Oreos together when it's just out of the fridge. So I am going to soften it, soften it more and kind of warm it up a little bit so it'll be easier to mix it all together. What I'm doing is that I have this boiled hot water, it's steaming hot, and I'm going to pour it in a bowl. And what, what's gonna happen is that the bowl is gonna get really warm and we're gonna put it over the cream cheese so the cream cheese can soften better and it'll be easier to mix. It's hot, so be really careful with the bowl. Great, so now we got our blender and our 30, 36 Oreos. We're just gonna pour it in there and then we're gonna just blend it up really finely. This recipe is so easy. Not necessarily a good thing because it's not healthy at all. So I don't know why I didn't do that earlier, but so heck with the pork, we're going in with our hands. I got a new pair of gloves, so I mixed it for, I was kneading it with my hands, it was maybe, maybe took me, took me about three, four minutes till like it kneads all together and it was completely combined. And I got a new set of gloves and I am rolling them into about a table size balls. My hand's like that big, that's how big it is. Around, around that size. It could be any size. You can make it big, you can make it smaller. Works either way. I'm gonna to try to make them all around the same size. So when I present them, they're not all a little lopsided. I'm setting the truffle balls on a pan with parchment paper. You would want to do wax paper instead of parchment paper, but we don't have any wax paper, so I'm using parchment paper. But you can put them right next to each other. Make sure they're not touching though because we're going to let them refrigerate. And they're going to be, they're not going to rise or anything because of course we're not baking them. But you don't want them stuck together. And if you freeze them, if you accidentally freeze them too long, 
At least they're individual balls and they're not. Yeah. These gloves are small. They don't even fit me, but at least I can move around with them without them falling off all the time, so. Okay, so we're back. I froze these truffles for a couple hours and I let them defrost a little bit, but they're still a good frozen. They're not completely frozen, okay? So that's the thing. You don't want it to be rock hard, but you don't want it to be too soft either, and it'll be or it'll be difficult to work with. So I think I let them out a little too long out of the freezer, but it'll work either way. You can also let them refriger refrigerate, but it'll be for a longer time, and it'll have to be in the fridge for a longer time, and it's just not really quite it, so. So I'm melting my chocolate. What I'm doing is I have chocolate chips. You can use dark chocolate, milk chocolate. Works either way. Um, I'm just using chocolate chips and I'm melting them in the microwave. You can add coconut oil to it. Okay, so this one should be I stuck my finger into the chocolate just to make sure it's not too hot. Alright. Okay, so I added coconut oil to my chocolate. So it would make it a little less harder and it'd be like more liquidy if that makes sense. So if it looks like I added more truffles because it's because I did. So I'm, and also I'm using gloves. If I haven't said this already, I'm using gloves because these truffles aren't really for my family. It's for a family friend and they have a party and they're paying me to make truffles for it, for their party. And I'm like, okay, I'll make them. So yeah, that's why I'm using gloves. But she asked for 30 truffles. And I thought my mom said, because she's a friend of my mom and I'm friends with her daughter. And I thought she said she wanted 20, 20 truffles. So I made 21 truffles. And later I find out that I'm supposed to make 30 truffles. So I had to make a another batch and like split it in half so I don't make more than I need. But around 30. And just like that, you just made yourself delicious Oreo truffles. You should really make it sometime. It is super good, super delicious, and very simple and easy. It'll blow your mind.